I'm not disrespecting, disrespecting her by saying she's not telling the truth. I'm just being honest. Somebody sent me something on my phone and it said that I hog tied her. Oh, no, all the hog tied people. Oh, the hog tied. My kids is listening to this. All oh, this nonsense. And I ain't ready to spend no time with them. This is real. This is not a lie. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? So, when I first moved to Atlanta, you know, I had big dreams. I was uh in my young 20s, and I wanted to find me a career, get that money. I was hustling in these streets, and my mate, I was searching for a mate. I wanted a good southern girl. I'm talking about deep fried, thick as grits, with a heavy, heavy southern accent. That shit turned me on, right? So I'm looking all over for one of those for me. Years went by. And you're just getting more disappointed because all these country girls that came from Alabama, that came from Tennessee, that came from Mississippi, they came here and they got converted to a city girl. Oh, my God! Now we got city girls everywhere. City girls and teachers. When you see me, tell you got to say what's up. Yeah, yeah. I want to be on my rest of it. It's my love. Yeah, yeah. We be living, learning, and we turn it up. Yeah, yeah. We work up to your desk. We have city girls, mayors. Y'all forget I am the leader. They want to hear from the mayor. If y'all ain't learned that yet. The mayor, not the trustees that don't do nothing. That only run their mouth. Y'all don't do no work. No work. We have city girls, uh, district attorneys. I think we did two different wine tours that you do, which are pretty expensive. Um, I think I bought him. He likes wine. I don't really like wine, to be honest with you. I like Grey Goose. And now, now that we have City Girl pastors now. <laughs> Baby, he, he don't want to marry you. That's fine. Get him out of the way. Get out of the way. Somebody else. Somebody else. Uh, we, 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 we gotta keep playing this game in 2024. You don't want me, We have a female pastor at New Birth right down the street in Atlanta. Her name is Dr. Carrie Turner. Mm-hmm. Look at her here. She's something fine now. She is something fine. But I won't let no woman like this lead me. And you women that go to that church, it's like the blind lead the blind. She don't know how to lead. She don't know how to lead. She's out here twerking. She's a straight up city girl. Her weave, she's popping. She'd be wearing uh, fitted clothes. And this is a pastor. This is a pastor, guys. And you want me to come to church and listen to you. Oh, my goodness. No, thank you. Now, let's go to St. Louis. St. Louis has a, a female pastor, and she talks a lot. She'd be running her mouth. Let's take a look at her picture right quick. This no 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 not Joyce Meyer. Get the no no not Joyce Meyer. <laughs> Even though she's a female, she's charismatic too. But no, I'm not listening to you. I'm not following you what you're saying because again, you're an emotional creature. You are a woman. But we're talking about this one here, city girl. Hey hey hey. This one here. Got Let's take a listen to this clip right quick. And happy love day, as we say. Um, but I got something for y'all. Now, just a word of wisdom. Look, get your gifts, get your free meals. Let's do all those great things. But do not avoid 
having those hard conversations. Because I'm going to be honest with y'all. Some of y'all been real miserable all year long. So now this one day has came. Look, it's not always about the things. Some people need to show y'all they love y'all all year long, not just on today. But listen, do not neglect having that hard conversation. Let them know, listen, I'm changing, I'm growing, I'm maturing. I don't like how you're talking to me. I, 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 I ain't feeling some of them things, but we can do better. We can make it. But I need you to know my truth. I need to be honest with you. I've been here holding stuff in long enough. So enjoy your day. Had them hard conversations now. <laughs> She's just another female empowerment pastor. You know, on Happy Love Day, she's telling these young ladies that after you get your free meal and your gifts, don't forget to have that hard conversation. Tell him, tell that black man all his flaws, all his shortcomings. If you want to be with me and my three kids, you need to do this and do that. Meanwhile, she's the same person. There's another word in the black churches that I'm so tired of hearing. You hear it every day. Manifest. Manifest is just a fancy way of saying faith without works. All these women, they 300 pounds. Girl, I'm going to manifest me a size four. I'm going to manifest me a tall, dark, and handsome man. I'm going to manifest me a job. Manifest, manifest, manifest. And yet they did nothing to change. City Girl Pastor is telling black men, you need to change. If you want to be with this young lady here, meanwhile, she does nothing. She didn't lift a finger. She ain't change her attitude. Nothing. But they want us to do all the work and change for them. And another one is uh my truth. My truth. What the f*** does that mean? It's only one truth. There's two sides of the story, but it's only one truth. All you ladies walking around talking about my truth, my truth, you're delusion. You're delusion. No. There's only one truth. But you walk around telling your side of the story and say it's my truth. You fed up in the head. All of y'all. All of y'all who, who walk around with this mentality, my truth and manifest, you need Jesus. Hey, how y'all doing? So listen, I got something for y'all. Now I hear, I've seen, been through things myself when it comes to women as preachers. Let me say, I know what the Bible says. I know all those things. But at the end of the day, I'm going to say this. If me preaching the gospel, telling others about the goodness of Jesus sends me to hell, guess what? I guess I'm going to hell because I will not stop talking about the goodness of God and what God has done for me. And if this is what you all say is blasphemy, then baby, listen, it is what it is. Because my experience with God is real and nobody can change that. For him, I live and for him, I'll die. <laughs> what? Do you see why, young lady, that you're not getting married and your whole congregation of women is not getting married with this mentality of yours. Now, we all know the order of this world, right? God, man, women, children. And this young lady here says she's not even listening to God. The number one, she's not even listening to him. So what makes you think she's going to listen to a man? Right? She's bucking the system. She says, fuck your rules. I'm going to do what I want to do and I'm going to go to hell. And she's leading a whole pack of dumbasses along with her. <laughs> the blind leading the blind. This is why you don't follow women in church. This is why they can't lead. She knows what the book says and yet she's going to do what she want to do. She's hard-headed. Absolutely hard-headed. What chances does any man have with you, young lady? Come on.
What is that? What is that? Did you hear this shit? Humana, 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 humana. Mama say, mama say, mama makusa. What is this? And the pastor's wearing Jordans in church. Jeans in Jordan. Unbelievable. This is why men don't go to church anymore. It's just lost. Isn't it? <laughs> She's wearing jeans and Jordans in church. Unbelievable. This is your leading pastor. And I'm supposed to take y'all serious. We don't want to go to church with y'all no more. I believe that men should have their own churches. We need to start men only churches again. Go back to the basics. Get out of these women filled churches with the kids. I don't want to hear no kids crying. I don't want to see no women. No, we should have men only. So we can focus on the word. We don't have to look at no big titties walking around. We don't have to be mesmerized by somebody's perfume. Just men only. We could talk what we want to talk, say what we want to say, believe, and then learn. We'll be focused. And then go back home and then teach your kids and your wife. But these women-led churches, these female pastors, no, 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 no. We need to do away with this. Absolutely not. Bullshit. <laughs> Anyway, that's the thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you female pastors, get off my lawn.